In this video, as we wrap up March, I'd like to introduce a must-have new Skyrim mod series. First, let's talk about quest mods, specifically the Thieves' Guild alternative endings. This mod provides various new ending routes for Skyrim's Thieves' Guild questline. It adds a total of four new voiced endings, each offering different paths and outcomes. As a result, players need to choose more carefully. For instance, you can resist Nocturnal, or take a path that involves betraying her. If you found the Skyrim Thieves Guild questline repetitive after multiple playthroughs, this mod offers a fresh experience. Next up is follower dialogue expansion, Ayla the Huntress. Expansion for Ayla the Huntress mod adds 200 new dialogue lines to the character Ayla the Huntress in the game. These lines are all voiced by AI, enhancing the story-driven interactions within the companion questline. Quest recognition for the main vanilla quests and DLC main quests, new romantic dialogues if married, and location awareness including cities and dungeons for deeper engagement with the character. The mod aims to expand rather than overhaul the existing character, ensuring it is fully narrative-friendly and compatible with other dialogue expansion mods. It can be safely added during gameplay without disrupting the gaming experience. Furthermore, this mod is 100% compatible with all other mods, including those from other creators, and can be installed mid-play, making it a great addition for those looking to expand their Skyrim Ayla-related story content. The mod creator also mentions the potential for future expansions of Ayla, including optional synergies with the significant Shezarine Saga. For more details, you can check the Nexus Mods website, written in the description. In this discussion, Let's explore building and visual enhancement mods. I found a few noteworthy ones, and the first one is Rin's Lumber Mills. This mod meticulously improves all standalone sawmills in Skyrim, providing a more vivid experience and clearer boundaries for the land owned by mill owners. While Skyrim's buildings are well designed, other objects outside the structures can sometimes feel lacking. However, this mod connects detailed wooden bridges to various mill locations, adding elements like logs and barrels to enhance the mill's aesthetics. Moreover, the creator has addressed numerous minor bugs and inconsistencies across all areas. Fixes include issues related to lighting placement, which caused overly flat lighting, NPC navigation problems, Z fighting due to conflicting textures, and visible gaps within assets. Rin's Lumber Mills is an excellent choice for enhancing Skyrim's various mill locations, making your game even more beautiful. Next up is Unique Wooden Bridges, Base Object Swapper. This mod uses Base Object Swapper to replace regular bridges in forest locations with new wooden bridges. It replaces three regular bridges in forested areas like Riverwood, Half Moon Mill, and Darkwater Crossing with wooden bridges. Since this mod is based on base object swapper, it is safe from conflicts involving cell modifications and world space edits. If you found looking at the same stone bridges a bit monotonous, trying out this mod to diversify your bridges could be a great choice. Next up is Rally's Barsets. This mod improves the bar and counter meshes in Skyrim. It provides new textures that you can choose from, either 4K or 2K, adjusted meshes, and corrected UV maps and wood beam shapes in various meshes. Additionally, the metal parts of the counter feature environment mapping, highlighting Rally's distinctive dark brown color. Moreover, since it doesn't have an ESP, it's safe from plug-in conflicts making it a hassle-free installation, even during gameplay. In this video, I've got some exciting news to share with you. Creator Mofu has been diligently working on the Olivier Kenjutsu Sword MCO version 2.1, and I've created a video to bring you the latest updates. As shown in the video, this moveset has been upgraded to include new attacks such as a forward charge that pierces enemies, reminiscent of a whirlwind dash, as well as martial arts elements like aerial double kicks and forward kicks. Additionally, this moveset features a unique dodge motion that allows you to evade backwards while using a normal attack. Even though I haven't installed the request mode, there's also a motion that lets you launch fireballs like a ninja. The frame of the motion itself is respectable, and the movements have become smoother. 
significantly improving the overall experience. I'm delighted to introduce these enhancements to you, and I hope you find them as exciting as I do. And I am sure that the mode I will introduce this time will also be a really interesting mode. That is Kitty Tail's ancient blood magic, the Sioux. This latest magic mod created by Kitty Tails adds 14 blood-themed spells to Skyrim. As the spell effects suggest, these spells would be particularly impressive for players adopting a vampire or dark sorcerer persona. Among the spells is the Blood Flame Whirlwind, which boasts a spectacular pillar of fire effect, and Cascading Torment, which features a red lightning effect. These offer dynamic magic effects unlike those found in other magic mods. This mod provides not only visually striking effects, but also unique magical sounds, offering a fresh experience. There are various destruction spells, including those that attack enemies broadly around the player, and others that shoot a straight red laser to target foes. Additionally, there are spells to summon blood-themed gargoyles and the Eternal Legion, making it suitable for conjurers as well. The spellbooks for this mod can be looted from Draugrs, Warlocks, or Vampires. And the more powerful spellbooks can be found on specific boss monsters. With the Spid system, enemies can also use the spells from this mod. If you're interested, give it a try. In this discussion, we'll talk about outfits and weapons. And let's start by introducing the BDR Ars Magna outfit. This outfit provides a tailored set of casual adventurer attire, combining white and brown tones. The standout feature includes a stylish hat that complements the character's personality, along with pants that give off a hot pants vibe. Additionally, the unique one-handed hammer weapon, adorned with intricate patterns, adds to the charm of this mode. If you want to evoke a more adventurous feel, the Bidor Ars Magna outfit is the perfect choice. Additionally, there is a weapon mod called Relentless. This high-quality mod adds one-handed and two-handed swords with intricate designs to Skyrim. These swords feature flame or ice-themed patterns. You can choose from 1K, 2K, or 4K textures for installation. The mod has an ESL flag and can be installed using faux mod, so keep that in mind when using it. In this discussion, let's talk about character and follower-related mods. And first up is MFG Fix NG. This mod modifies the MFG console commands and adds more enhancements. It's primarily known for its use in character expressions and requirements. Now, MFG Fix supports not only SSE, but also Skyrim Anniversary Edition, and it's compatible with Skyrim VR. You can use this mod in all versions from 1.597 to 1.6.1170 and it's worth noting that the new expression features have made this mod even smoother. Next up is Coralina's Aesthetics 3 SMP Hair Collection. Coralina's Aesthetics Hair Collection SMP mod adds three SMP hairstyles as shown in the video. Each hairstyle is meticulously crafted to support SMP, ensuring seamless compatibility with faster HDT SMP. The physics are delicately tuned to provide a natural appearance while minimizing performance impact, guaranteeing an FPS-friendly experience. From the elegant simplicity of Wendy, to the charmingly tousled wolf cut, and the sophisticated allure of BAE, this trio of hairstyles offers a diverse range of options to elevate your character's look. With their realistic physical effects, these hairstyles provide an exciting opportunity to enhance your Skyrim experience. Next up is Lyris Titanborn, Cold Sun's Visions Fallower mod. Lyris Titanborn is a high poly head follower, based on one of the popular characters in Elder Scrolls Online. She can be found inside Dragon's Reach in Whiterun, and is a warrior type who wields the battle axe Holm Gangar. She possesses powerful perks such as Titan Strike, which deals lethal damage when swinging her battle axe against lightly armored foes, and Giant's Bane which increases damage dealt to all giants by 15% and reduces damage taken by 25%. The creator mentions a dedicated animation add-on for this mod, noting that exclusive animations for this follower may be added as soon as permission for certain motions is obtained. It requires the Vision's Asset Pack, compatible with CBBE or BHUNP, 
so please keep this in mind when installing. Thanks for joining me on this modding adventure in Skyrim. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more epic mod showcases. If you've got any favorite mods you'd like to share, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, happy adventuring!